These are the ones who've survived. Survived Syria's war, survived their difficult escape across the Middle East, North Africa, and then the dangerous waters of the Mediterranean. And now another journey. They're being flown to the Italian mainland, to the Europe they have dreamt of. Yes. I've escaped, she told us simply. Because of the war, we're tired, he said. That's why we've come to Europe, a place of liberty. But there is no liberty yet for those who are left in the overcrowded refugee centre here. We were given rare access inside the camp, where they overflow outside and live under tarpaulins. Some were happy for us to film them. Others, like Saba and her four children, feared reprisals for their relatives left in Syria. They paid $5,000 for the sea crossing from Libya to Lampedusa. It was like a death trip, a suicide trip. I don't recommend it to anyone. We were dying in Syria and we faced death coming here too. It was only God who helped us make it through. Then she began to cry. Also here, we found Ahmed. How much did it cost you to come here? Uh, from uh, Libya to here, from Libya to here exactly, $1,000. And how difficult was the journey? Were you afraid? Oh, this journey is simply so dangerous. So if you ask me to repeat this trip, I refuse. On the dockside nearby, a reminder of the risks they took just to get here. The boats migrants have used for the crossing piled up. Just imagine how desperate you would have to be in order to board one of these death traps and risk your life looking for a better future. And it's not just Syrians coming across on these boats. This year alone, tens of thousands have made this horrendous voyage. While war and poverty continue to fuel this mass migration, there's nothing Europe's politicians can do to stop them coming. So more will arrive from Syria and elsewhere and Europe will have to decide how to deal with them. Matthew Price, BBC News, Lampedusa, Italy.